Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle. Did y'all see that wig? Girl, I know y'all saw that. Included in my box that this gorgeous unit came in, there was a couple of things to help the install go easier. And my favorite has got to be this bonnet. You see this bonnet? Girl, it's so satiny and stretchy. I love it so much. I also got the satin edge scarf, which is good for when you're sleeping and you want your edges to remain intact. There's some wig caps and additional elastic bands. When I looked inside, I was not expecting to see these press-ons. Everything is matching my pajamas these days, but I had already done my nails. So here is the gorgeous, gorgeous, yakky straight wig, the texture. Everything about this wig is just beautiful. It has natural luster. Here's a nice little inside peek of the cap. She is an ear to ear full frontal. The lace size is 13 by four. It came with this adjustable strap with the anti-silicone grip. She's got a nape comb, adjustable straps, and this anti-slip material that's along the perimeter of the back of the wig. Also included was this double-sided waterproof tape that you could use to adhere your wig. I won't be using this tape today, but it was nice ASMR, I had fun. So it's time to see what's under this bonnet. I take this thing off, man, this thing is so stretchy. I didn't want to take it off. I've got my DIY lace tint. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop her on my head and girl, she looks so good already. It's already plucked, it's already bleached, it's already styled and the lace is already cut, right? So everything, right? The full package. There was no need to cut around the ears. It fit me like a glove, it fit perfectly. So the only thing that I was going to do, I was gonna customize my hairline just a bit more, all right? Just a little bit, not too much, because it was pretty much already done. I'm plucking just a tiggle and I'm using my lace tint to go ahead and melt that lace to my skin tone. Don't even worry that I got it on the hair a little bit, girl, because it's gonna brush out. I'm using a little bit of wax in my straightening comb to comb this hairline back. And don't that look like a press? Girl. So here's one side with no alterations and the other side with a tiny bit of customization. So this is a glueless wig, so you have the option to use the waterproof tape or not. I am just gonna cut what little bit is left of this lace. You know, honestly, if you melted it good enough, you wouldn't be able to see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove the excess. I'm using a little bit of spray to adhere my wig. These micro applicators have me in a chokehold. I use them for everything. Makeup, melting my lace, cleaning. I love them so much. I'm using a little bit of spray to adhere my wig, and then I'm gonna go in with some mousse and I'm going to style my edges. I'm not doing no baby hairs today. Okay, so relax, you can put your pitchforks down. I'm using a little bit of alcohol to clean up the excess adhesive. Sometimes the application process is a little messy, but we're creating art here, okay? So I'm gonna blast that where my hair dryer. I'm gonna try to make sure that I don't get any stray hairs underneath this elastic band. It happens sometimes. You know, you can always go back with a pair of tweezers and pull them out. So here's this gorgeous hair. It is thick, a nice yakky straight texture, 20 inches. I decided that I was gonna stick with the middle part. So I'm just making sure that it is as flat as possible. Let me tell you something, okay? I don't know if I had my elastic band on too tight or what, but when that mess popped, it scared the fool out of me and it hurt a little bit. I was a little shook. So 
I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully it don't pop my eye out. So yes, girl, this is what the hair looks like. So let's move on to styling. But before I do that, I want to show you the back, show you a little bit of the length. I'm just gonna do a simple slide cut on the front sections of my hair. I'm gonna use my one inch barrel today. I'm very high heat and I'm curling everything to the back. But before I do that, I need to definitely protect these strands with my thermal spray. I brush the hair so the product is evenly distributed and then I get to curling. There are many textures that take to heat very well and Yaki is definitely one of them. When you curl this hair with or without holding spray, the curls definitely last. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my whole head. You see how beautiful and perfect and oingy boingy these curls came out? Nothing brings me more joy. So before I brush these curls out, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Pink Lusters silicone spray and show you guys what these perfect curls look like combed out. So when you curl all of your hair to the back, when you comb it out, you automatically get that bombshell, just a beautiful wave cascade curl. I just recently bought some bakur. How do you pronounce that? Bakur? Basically, it's wood chips that have been soaked in, in spice and sugar and oils, and it smells amazing. And I lit that up in my house, and I actually put my hair over it, so the hair smells amazing. It looks beautiful. I'm using my holding spray to kind of lock in that curtain bang that's so flattering on just about any face shape. All the information for this wig will be in the description box below. Please like this video, leave a comment. Y'all gotta try her out, she's gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.